Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look at how we work out the nth term for a quadratic sequence. So a quadratic, uh, se uh, quadratic sequence is a little bit different to a uh, linear sequence, which is what the other video is based on. So in a linear sequence, uh, each it goes up by the same amount each time. However, for a quadratic sequence, that's not the case. So we're going to have a look at how we work out the nth term rule of a quadratic sequence. So the first thing we need to bear in mind is it's going to look something like this, where we've got an n squared, that's what makes it quadratic, and then we're going to add something n and then plus something. Now we don't always do this bit at the, uh, the back here, which I've got a couple of examples that illustrate that, but we will always have this n squared, because um, obviously, as I say, that makes it a quadratic. Um, we might also have numbers, so we might have a number here, instead of having A could be a number, instead of having B could be a number, and obviously C again could be a number. So that's what we need to work out, A, B and C. We'll start off with A, because it's nice and easy. So as it's already said, or he says here, to find the second difference, sorry, we find the second difference, and then we divide it by 2. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to find the second difference. So the first thing we need to do is obviously find the first difference in between each term. So the difference between 1 and 4 is 3, 4 and 9 is 5, 9 and 16 is 7, and 16 and 25 is 9. So that's the first difference. And if this was a linear sequence, they would all be the same. But as you can see, they're not. So I need to find the second difference of these numbers here. So the difference between 3 and 5 is 2, 5 and 7 is 2, and 7 and 9 is 2. So that's how I know this is a quadratic sequence, because the second difference is the same. So what I do is I find the second difference, done that, it's 2, and then I divide it by 2. So I'm going to have 2 divided by 2, which is 1 which tells me that a equals 1, which is going to be what goes in front of the n squared, and obviously 1n squared is just n squared. So that would be the first bit for this particular one. I'm not going to go into all of it. I just want to get used to everyone finding the a first. So let's find the a for this sequence here. Again, first step is to find the first difference. So we're going to have 6, 10, 14, and 18. And then the second difference between these is 4, 4, 4. So again, the second difference is the same, so it's quadratic. So I've done that. i found the second difference. And now I need to divide it by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. So that means that the a would be 2 in this case. So I would have 2n squared at the start of my nth term. And last one here, just to illustrate the point of how we find a. The first difference is going to be, uh, so that's 9, 15, uh, 21, and then that's going to be 27. Okay, and then the second difference, so that'd be 6. That'll be 6, and that'll be 6. So again, the second difference is all the same, so it's quadratic. And once you've found that, we divide it by 2, which gives us 3. So a in that case would be 3. So it's 3n squared would be the start of my nth term sequence. Okay, so that's how you find a. You just find the second difference and half it. And that's the number that goes in front of the n squared. So let's have a look at trying to work out the whole thing. So here is another quadratic sequence, and this time I'm gonna work out the whole thing. I still start off by finding A, so I'm still gonna do the first difference, which in this case is six, uh, then 10, then 14, and then 18, so that's the first difference. Then I'm gonna get the second difference, which is four, four, four. And again, once I've got the second difference, I just half it to give me two, so my A would be two. So I have 2n squared, very similar to that example there. So once you've figured out the start is 2n squared, I'm just going to write it down here. What we do is we generate the sequence for 2n squared. So the first term would mean that n is 1. 
So 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. So the first number in that sequence would be 2. The next one, well, n would be 2 because I want the second term, so n would be 2. So 2 squared is 4, then I times it by 2 to get 8. Then I want the third term, so n is 3. So 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18. I'll just do one more. If I want the fourth term, n is 4. So 4 squared, 16, times by 2, 32. So as it stands, 2n squared generates this sequence. But I don't want this sequence. I want that sequence. I'm just going to write it above. So minus 1, 5, 15, 29. Obviously, you can put 47 if you wanted to. So I've just put the sequence that I want above it. And just like in the previous video of how you find for a linear sequence, I'm going to compare them. I'm going to say, how do I go from my sequence that I've got so far to the sequence that I want? Well, in each case, it works out quite nice because I take away three each time. So all I'm going to do for my overall uh, nth term is 2n squared, which generates this, and then all I need to do for each one is just take away 3. So this is an example where it hasn't got a something n, or in this case just be 0n, I've just got that, which is absolutely fine. So 2n squared minus 3 would generate any number in this sequence. And of course you can test it by putting in, well let's do that, if I put in the first term, so n is 1, 1 squared is 1, times 2 is 2, take away 3, minus 1. If I want the second term, n is 2, 2 squared is 4, times 2 is 8, take away 3 is 5. So I can generate this sequence using that nth term. OK, let's have a look at uh, another couple of examples. Just bear with me a second. So again, we're going to work out the nth term rule of uh, both of these examples. So let's start off with this one here. So as always, we need to find out what a is. So the first difference in this case is 9, then 15, then 21, and then 27. So that's the first difference. Then I find the second difference, which is 6, 6, and 6. So obviously, because the second difference is the same, it's a quadratic. But don't forget, once you've got that, we half it. Just get 3, so a equals 3. And that gives us then 3n squared for the start of our nth term rule. So just as before, once you've got this, come down over, uh, we'll find some space. And I'm going to generate or write down the sequence that 3n squared generates. So again, for the first term, n is 1. 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3. For the second term, n is 2. 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. Third term, n is 3. 3 squared is 9 times 3, 27. I'll just do one more. Uh, for the fourth term, n is 4. 4 squared is 16 uh, times 3, 48. Okay, so that's the sequence that 3n squared generates. So I'm going to go back to the original and just write it above. And I'm going to compare. How do I go from what I've got at the minute to the sequence that I want? And again, this is a nice one. All I do each time is just add 2. OK, so I'm going to have 3n squared. And then all I do to go from 3n squared to the sequence I want is just add 2. OK, and that's the nth term sequence that I generate this sequence here. So enough of the easy ones. Let's get on to the tougher ones. So, same process to start off with. We need to find out what A is. So, first difference. And then second difference. Okay, once you've got the second difference, don't forget to divide it by 1. So, 2 divided by, sorry, divided by 2. So, 2 divided by 2 gives us 1. So, A equals 1. So, it's 1n squared, which is just n squared. So once you've got 
uh, the value of a, so 1n squared or just n squared, we come down here, do exactly the same thing we did here, and generate the sequence for n squared. So n squared, the first term, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, you can keep going if you want, but 4 should be enough. Once you've generated that sequence, go back to your original sequence, your original question, and just write it above. Okay, and then exactly the same thing up here, we compare. What do I need to do to go from my n squared at the minute to the actual sequence in the question? What do I do each time? Now in this case, it's different. I add 2 in that case, I add 5 in that case, I add 8 in that case, and then I add 11 in that case. So they're different. If they're different, just go to the side and write out the difference. So I've got a 2 is the first difference there. Then I have a 5. Then I have an 8. And then I have an 11. Okay? So this is the difference from what I have at the minute to what I want. So all we do is find the nth term rule for this new sequence. So this is exactly the same as my previous video of linear sequences, because as you might have already seen, this sequence is going up in threes. In which case, what other sequence goes up in threes? Well, the three times table does. So I'll write the three times table underneath. If you haven't seen my previous video, make sure you do give it a look, because this bit will then be really easy. But it's going up in threes, so does the three times table, so I write down the three times table. And the nth term rule for the three times table is 3n. How do I go from the three times table back to the original one? Well, I take away one each time. So the nth term for this sequence, which is the difference here, is the three times table, so 3n, and then I take away one. And all you do then is put it all together, so I've got n squared plus 3n, and then take away 1. And then that would be the nth term rule to generate that quadratic sequence. Okay, I've got one more example like this to show you. So I'll just bring that over. Just bear with me. Okay, so this is our last example. Again, just like before, it's a bit of a tricky one, but we do exactly the same steps. We find the first difference. And then we find the second difference. Oops, so it's four, isn't it? So I'm getting ahead of myself. So the second difference is four. So once you've got the second difference, you half it. So four divided by two gives us two. So a would be two, which gives us two n squared. Once you've worked that out, give yourself a bit of space and write out the sequence that two n squared actually gives you. So one squared is one times two is two. Second term, n would be 2. 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. Third term, three, so n is 3. So 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18. Fourth term, n, uh, n would be 4. 4 squared is 16 times 2 is 32. Once you've got that, go back to your original sequence in the question and just write it above. And we compare, how do I go from what I want, sorry, what I've got to what I want each time. Obviously 2 to 0, that would be take away 2. 8 to 1, that would be take away 7. Uh, 16 to 8 is take away 12. And then 32 to 15 uh, would be take away uh, 17. As you can see, they're all different. So we need to write that out again. So the difference here we said was minus 2 then it was minus 7, then it was minus 12, and then it was minus 17. And we need to work out the nth term rule for this sequence here. So as you can see, it's going down in fives. And again, if you're not unsure about how to work out the nth term rule of this, have a look at my previous video. So it's going down in fives. What other sequence goes down in fives? Well, the minus 5 times table. So I'm just going to write out the minus 5 times table like so, and obviously that has the nth term rule of minus 5n. So how do I go from the minus 5 times table 
to what I want, well, I add three each time. So the nth term rule for what I want would be the minus five times table, so minus five n, and then plus three. And to finish it off, back to the original question, I've got my two n squared minus five n, and then plus three. And again, that's there is the uh, nth term for that quadratic sequence. So hopefully that helps, guys. Thanks for watching.